Hello, Denique. Hello, Theo. And this time you're back again to get a new color. Yes. You still want to be asymmetrical, but uh, a lot shorter. And yes. uh, yeah, we're going for balayage in the light colors. Yes. Nice. Will you turn for that? Yes, I will. And you shave the sides yourself. Yep. So that I have to correct. Let's start with coloring. And friends, you could color do the next hair again. Now I start of course with protection because I want to start with uh, balayage. So I have to put on protection for coloring. I made her a green bleach. It's something uh, that's not on the market yet, but it works very nice because she has a lot of red tones in her color. And I'm going to use uh, plastic foils to create it so it's I'm going to let the sides in a dark color. So it's going to work in passes over the skull to the other side. This I do by just taking a gel, apply this on the first part because the, the basic lines will be darker afterwards. We start with the light colors. On this line, I glue my first foil. This, this makes working a lot easier. And then I'm going to apply all the layers on that. Now I know her hair is a bit uh, glittery, slippery. So I use a little bit dirty angel on the baseline. Take myself the first centimeter, comb it against, and that's why I use the dirty angel, make combing against a lot easier. Then apply some bleach on there. And the shades of bleach will be wonderful because she has already shades in the hairs. The bleach I created is with uh, 30 volume, 9%. So I create a nice soft line in it. Take a new foil, lay it on the hairs. Take again a little bit dirty angel. Take a centimeter hair, comb against to create a soft start line. A wiggly underline. I show you also one in front of the camera. Foil, lay it on the hairs. Dirty Angel is uh, of attitude and it's a dry shampoo with styling possibilities. Make a soft underline. Just apply a bit of bleach in it because at the start the hair is the most thick, so you have to have a bit of bleach on that. Lay it on the foils. And starting again with creating a soft line. Take a centimeter hair. This is I do till I get on the crown because I gonna work like a clock in the opposite lines. Take a little bit dirty angel of attitude. Take my comb and comb against. Take my bleach, make a soft underline, 
but only to know that there is enough bleach in the thick part of her hair. Then I lay it on the foil. And apply the bleach on the hair. Making sure there's enough bleach on it. And make sure I have a soft start line. So do all the hair. So now I'm on the other side. I already started, but I think I'll show you that also. Um, in the underlines now of her hair, still working the same way. Take a part of the hairs, comb against, put a little bit of bleach on the layer that lays on the plastic foil. All soft lines, lay it on the foil, and so it works till I get. And the underlines, because otherwise it would be very hard to get from that side to this side. So that's why I work, of course, also on this side. The nice thing of the plastic foil is that you can see through the foils where your bleach is and where it's, which stadium it is. I did all the foils from this side to this side, so from the right side to the left. Now I'm going to close my plastic foils just to be sure that all stays on the same line. I'm going to control it in uh, 50 minutes on this line because there's the last parts that have been set in bleach. And the nice thing is that the upper lines will be certainly a little bit lighter, but that is also very sexy. And I'm a bit out of the frame. <laughs> so now I've closed my plastic foil, I wait for 50 minutes and this is the part I can control because I have a plastic foil so I can see how the bleaching is going. Um, I know there's a difference of 8 minutes between the first part and the last part. When this is nice blonde, I know I can rinse out because this part will be certainly a bit lighter but it's also more sexy because it's the upper hair. So we're going to wait, go for a cup of tea and you stay there. So we'll be back in a second. Back from coloring, so rinse out the bleached out of the hair. So now I have to dry it because I have to work with uh, dry hair because the sides will be clipper cut. So I have to see what the hair does and when the hair is wet so it's very hard to clipper cut. We stay in the asymmetrical lines, as we already told. And the dark on the frame of this uh, color I will make after the cutting. So first part myself a new line and because she also herself makes uh, lines in her. Mm. I have to be aware of that, so take a new line on it, dry the hair in the underlines and then um, start cutting that. The longer hair I can leave wet because I do this with a hot uh, razor. It will make the line more sharp but also soft in uh, connections. And while I work with a eraser, I always get the best result in that. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, it's very long. Yeah, I'm going to have a lot of conditions, so I hope that you Before I start cutting, I put on the protection. To protect your clothes. Mm -hmm. Because I've lost a bit connections to this line because this is longer. Yeah, because she clippers it herself, she takes away a bit of the hairs. I create a new line on it, so I have an asymmetrical line but certainly a nice frame to work on. It's 
starting to create a new line. And when afterwards uh, our color will be a little bit darker, I also put in a, a deep violet and uh, a dark shade. So I take away all the gold tones of the color because now they are a bit reddies. And that's our natural color. So that I make a little bit darker afterwards. First, create me a nice side shape. Lifting up the hairs, set them straight with my comb. And it's better to clipper the hair uh, when the hair is not wet, because when it's wet, it's uh, hard to do because they stick to each other and you get not the nicest lines. Put the blades to the back and use the clipper as a comb. Leaning on the skin. Minor pressures to the line. Come to the back. Stay working the same line, get in the rounding. I part it. And I let the upper hair fall over this line, in a soft line. So don't be afraid that it's not nice, it will be nice. And sexy. <laughs> And her hair grows very fast, so that's why she lost a short sight. Use my clip as a comb again by putting the blade to the back. To do so, and when you use it as a comb, the length of this clipper is about 4 mm. So you have to know that because otherwise it will be too short. But that you try out, and of course, and then when you know it, you know it. Creating a nice contour line. And this uh, Kiona clipper has a ceramic blade. And as you can see, because it makes ultra sharp lines. And I don't force it on the skin because I still have to color this side and also the first part of her hair. So that's why I don't force it on the skin. But she has a sensitive skin so I have to take care of that. Now clean this up. Especially when you have such a small skull as she has, it's so nice to have a short hairstyle because then you see the shapes of her skull and they are wonderful. 
So now I'm gonna heat up my hot tool of Ergo and I'm starting on this line. Watch that beautiful skull, it is the shapes of a chin lines, part in the same line, go to the crown area on the back and set away the hairs. Lay them down. So my first line goes like this. Now I know the ends is, are damaged because we had summertime. So I start in the front. Just gently go in. And the nice thing of this tool is that it goes through the hairs like uh, a hot knife in the bottom. You don't have to force anything. And hold the lines in the line of the skull lines. So I just watch through the hairs where this nice skull is. So I always stay in contact with the base shapes. I'll show you this also from behind. I'm going to put the next line on it. And the nice thing of working with a hot knife is that you don't have to feather out the ends because you will certainly have a nice soft line. And when the knife is active, you see it on the red light. Take a new line on it. Again, from the crown area, take a new line on it. Again, from the crown area, just above the line I just cut. Set the hairs aside. Go to my first line. Now I'm going to show you how we do this. Turn the so you can see through the hairs. Lay the hairs in the line of the skull, go to the line, watch at the skull, and just gently go in and out. The hot razor is of Ergo. You have to buy this online, or in the States you just can buy it. Also on the back. I know I have a short line, but I stay working in the same line. So I take this hairs over the rounding. Watch at the beautiful lines of the skull. And just gently take away the ends. And hold my fingers in the rounding of the skull. So I go near to the neckline, just to get this wonderful shape. Watch what the hairs do when you go into that. How nice the hairs fall in. Just take them up, go in and just lay them there. You get a wonderful line afterwards. See how wonderful it turns in. So she has a lot of rounding in it and she has a perfect skull for this. Take away a new line, start again on the center of a skull at the crown area. Lay the hands on it. A little more less thick because the hair is a little bit thinner at the front. Again, lay the hairs in the rounding. Go to that nice neckline. And see what it does. And what it brings. See how wonderful the hairs fall. So I turn a bit so I can also work, because otherwise you are sitting on the place where I have to be. Uh, I don't have a cameraman, otherwise he could zoom in. I see how wonderful the bleaching is, because uh, there are no hard lines in her hair now. Lay the hairs back so you can see the lines. 
coming to the last part. Watch it fall, especially on the crown. Now I have to have the lift of the hairs, so it has to roll over her hair. I love to work with a hot razor, it's so nice too. I can hardly do without it, I'm certain of that. I would create my, that's the one myself if I had to. from the start of the house to lay them in a wonderful browning. We take away the dry ends because the ends are dry. We had summer, we had a good summer in Holland. For me too much. 40 plus is too much for me. Not when I'm in Florida, but here in Holland, I have had too much. Here is more thickness, so I take a little bit away from the weight, not much, just to create the same thickness in the line. This I do by taking a bit higher up and just go back to the line. So now I have the same volume in all layers. So now I can make her the other color, so we can on the outgrow and connected to these lines. Now Köln is semi colors I made a 5-0 and I put in the silver. And I first start, uh, this I do with, um, with the 2%, it's, uh, I don't know how much is that in volume, I have not much. <laughs> I don't know, so, but 2% parasite. I think it's and of course I start on the short sides. Take also that part that still has a bit golden tone. And because it's also a silver related, I just can softly work it in. And then I go on the same line as I did on the start. On this I put a foil and then I'm gonna work the color in. You already the color developing. Take the foil and lay it on this line. So I have my short part covered up in a foil so I can work on that. Make sure I have clean clubs. Take up the first centimeters, lay them over the foil, and just on the start. I apply all the golden tones, this bit dark color, to get rid of the golden tones. And this I do till I get on the other side. So when I have done all the first lines, I sit in the opposite lines. So I'll work to, till I get on the other side. Now I laid all the colors back, so I worked from uh, the right side to the left side and lay them over again. So now I leave this for, and then put some carton wick on the top because there is the most uh, formal part of the hair because there you can see the best what is happening with the colors. Just to in 
protect uh, from some things. And now we're going to wait for 50 minutes, rinse it out, and then we're back for styling. Okay, back from coloring, rinse the color out, clean the contour line. And then I'm going to style the hair. To get this wonderful color, you can always use from David Gray the silver toner spray. It's a conditional spray with, um, you can see it, what happened on my hands, you see how violet it is. It takes away all the yellow tones. And you have to take this one with the uh, chrome out, <laughs> with the chrome outside. So nice product, especially when you have a lot of red tones in your color. Start with uh, a light brush, take up the hairs. The nice thing is when you work with a hot tool, you never get stuck on the ends of hair. So far, blow right. <laughs> First thing I put on the hair is uh, a brilliant gloss of Keunen. It's a wonderful product, it gives a lot of shine to the hair and it protects for the hardness of the hairspray. And over this I put a hairspray. Just play with the hairs like the wind does. I thank Denique for being my model. It's always fun to have her as a model. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. You me too. Mm. Yeah. Sewing machine. Thank you. Yeah. You're back again yeah. to get a new color. Yes. You still want to be asymmetrical, but uh, a lot shorter. And yes. Uh, yeah, we're going for balayage in the light colors. Yes. Nice. Will you turn for that? Yes, I will. And you shave the sides yourself? Yep. So that I have to correct. Let's start with coloring. <laughs> 